So two ounces. Hey guys, what are you doing? We are making a bubble bath. Bubble bath. What else did you make? We made sugar. Here. We made, made sugar scrub and oh, I did. rollers. And you made be calm rollers. I'm so excited. You guys are making so many fun things. Where did you find your recipes? Um, in, in your make and take book. Make and take book. Okay. Well, they started out. I'm having fun um, watching Bryn share with her friend and enjoy the oils. Um, today is Tip Tuesday, and I'm excited to share with you a tip that I learned from Mel Robbins. Um, I would love for Barb or Tara or Kristen or Sophia or, um, did I say Tara, Kristen, Sophia, Lori, and Barb, you guys can chime in and share what you learned from Mel Robbins, and I will post in the comments about what she shared with us. But she talked about a concept called five-second rule. It's five, four, three, two, one. She said, we can talk ourselves out of anything in five seconds, or we can talk ourselves into something in five seconds. For example, if you like, hey, Stephanie, if you like to, um, you know that you're supposed to go work out in the morning and you hear the alarm, you can either can talk yourself out of hitting the alarm and going back to sleep, right? Or you can talk yourself into waking up and getting up. Five, four, three, two, one. You can say it in your mind, you can say it out loud and get up. She says the same thing with what we eat. It's the same thing in our business. Hey, Sean. So this is her strategy, five, four, three, two, one. I've been using it. Um, I'll give you an example um, about what I've been doing. So yesterday when I came home after Sean's class, thank you for all the thumbs up. You're very sweet, Sean. I came home and I wanted to sit there and there were a few things. I was a little overwhelmed my first day of summer. I have extra kids. And then I caught myself being more negative and I said, five, four, three, two, one. I snapped myself out of it and I told them the good things that I had in the day. And it's working. Look her up, her name is Mel Robbins. She's a famous speaker, and she talks about the five second rule. So how can we use this five, why did they bring it to convention to talk to us? One, it can improve your relationship with your spouse. It can improve your relationship with your kids. Um, she had major anxiety and depression, was on a lot of medications, and she snapped herself out of this by doing this strategy. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm not gonna teach you the whole science behind it. She shared with us in the hour that she had with us. An amazing speaker. I love her enthusiasm. But we can use it in our business. For example, you're walking to, in the store and a lady says, oh, I got a headache. Your first thought is, oh, I should share peppermint with her. And then you tell yourself in five seconds, oh, she's too busy. I'm gonna to sound too push, pushy. Five, four, three, two, one, go, do it. Um, she talks about the second you have a thought, intuition, or this something that comes to you, go and do it. Or if you have someone that comes to your mind, write it down, and you can't do it right then and there because maybe you're cooking or something. Go write that person's name down. Send them a text or an email. She said you can either convince yourself in five seconds that you're not going to do it or in five seconds that you're going to do it. Same thing about positivity and negativity. So if you say, oh, I'll just never get there. There's no way I'm gonna reach my goal this month. Five, four, three, two, one. I know I'm gonna do this. So there's just these two ways that you can use it. And when you count backwards, she said, you can't count forwards. It's something to do, do with your brain. Um, so she just talks about, we all want success. Um, for example, this morning I want my kids to make their bed and open their blinds. We're always trying to find ways to get our kids to do things. They're working in their little school book. They're reading their 30 minutes a day. They're helping me make salad for lunch. I mean, these are things that they're not in the mood to do either, but we're creating a structure in our environment. And she talks about any success, you have to make yourself do it. It doesn't just magically come. Our success as leaders is not gonna come if we just, We'll think about it, but we've got to take the action and move forward and do it. So she said, success comes from product productivity. Um, you want to think about it, but think about, instead of just thinking about it, go forward and doing it. So she gave the example of the kids. Um, there's different help five, I mean, um, on YouTube, you guys can Google the five second rule and read more up on it. There's five minutes, 15 minutes, whatever you want to learn more about it, if this resonates with you. 
But she says, okay, so Friday, I have an unconvention class here. Now I can tell myself, oh, I'm just so busy. I have six kids at my house. Oh my gosh, my head is spinning. I'm like, nope, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna invite five people today, do it. Five, four, three, two, one. And just do it instead of trying to convince yourself to get into it. Hey, Dorothy. So she talks about um, same thing. When you have an intuition, when you have a thought come to your mind, a lot of times as leaders, we may convince ourselves, oh gosh, I think I'm too pishy if I text her or if I create a class, people aren't going to want it. Um, what you want to do, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, I'm going to do it. Yes, they need it. So it's just the way our mindset is. Um, I hope this tip helps you today, practicing the five second rule with Mel Robbins to not talk yourself out of it, but to talk yourself into it and to do it, whether it's for food, whether it's for getting up in the morning to wake up, whether it's to get to work and to push yourself to move forward. And I just, I loved what they brought um, to convention and it helps me. Um, I've just been using it the past couple days, just the way I'm thinking about things. And even yesterday we had that 24 hour promo and I reached out to people and I'm like, no, this is going to work. And just having that mindset of, Five, four, three, two, one, it's going to, instead of talking myself out of it. Um, you know, for example, we had that class last night. I was super exhausted, didn't get to see my kids, and I'm like, no, I need to be there. And I had the intuition, the thought, five, four, three, two, one, go. And I did it. I could have totally talked myself out of it. I haven't seen my family, my husband, um, all those different things. And there's just so much power in that five second rule um, in this business. So let's go do the five second rule and move forward and take action in our businesses. Have a great day.